Hey there, all my friends. So happy to be talking to everybody once again. Now, any day that I head out to the movie theater, especially with some buddies, it's a great day. And um, today I actually went and seen a movie with two of my friends. And that movie was DC League of Super Pets. Now, I know a lot of people, you know, and it's kind of becoming more mainstream to do so, but... Uh, a lot of people hate on kids' films or animated films in general, and I think it's just kind of a stupid take, especially inside of the film community, because so many people put so much hard work into these movies, and people, especially like the Oscars and stuff, push them to the side and say they're strictly for children, and that's just not true at all. Um, but sadly with this movie, it kind of felt a little bit too much like a kid's film for me, and it's not even a bad thing. It's just for me personally, um, outside of the first act, I felt a little bit distant from the story because it was a lot of things I'd seen before, and that's just kind of reoccur kind of a reoccurring theme there, uh, just with the whole uh, dog characters, you know. And mostly every film, and you kind of have the same tropes with those kind of characters, and you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just very uh, kid-like. My biggest takeaway from this movie, though, is the unique designs of all the dogs and the unique designs of the Justice League in this one. I remember a lot of people critiquing it, especially, you know, comic book nerds like myself and other people, film fans, they were critiquing how the Justice League looked. They said it looked like a dollar store Justice League and stuff like that on TikTok. I heard that a lot. And I think that's just simply not true. I think any time you change something from the original, you're going to have a ton of people saying that, even inside of, you know, an animated film like this kind of aimed towards children. Um, and I think that's just silly. I think the Justice League looks super awesome, especially Cyborg, Superman, Batman. Those are kind of the standouts for me, Wonder Woman. A lot of the designs in general are just super interesting, and I thoroughly enjoyed that. Another big hit for me was John Krasinski as Superman and Keanu Reeves as Batman. Now, obviously, they're, they're not even the main characters in the story. They're probably in the film for maybe 20 minutes, uh, but their voice casting was just amazing. I really enjoyed that. I feel like Krasinski, a lot of people want him to be Mr. Fantastic or people like that, but I think he fits way more in with these heartfelt characters like Superman, and I really bought into him being... Uh, you know, the most iconic hero of all time, Superman. It felt very genuine and very, very cool. The characterization of everyone in this movie, uh, you know, and just inside of the DC universe was just great. Just so very great. And I think you can tell the creators behind it, no matter how it is aimed, no matter how it was made, really studied up on these characters and, and you know, kind of tried to adapt their uh, personalities. And that, you know, that flows over into the dog characters like Crypto and and uh, just everyone else there, and it was just really awesome to see that. Obviously, like I said, you do have a lot of those reoccurring things that you've seen in other kids' films uh, or animated movies, the same tropes over and over again, but the story of family here still really hits hard for me. I even caught myself getting emotional uh, with Kevin Hart's character, uh, that dog character there, uh, talking to Crypto, talking about what had happened to him, and that actually showing uh, that he was trying to save, you know, his recent or his past owner, uh, his child. And they thought, you know, he had bit that child on purpose, so they had to give him away. And just seeing that fleshed out in the animation, the music playing behind it, and that deep heart-to-heart -heart talk there, it just made me realize that this movie did have more depth uh, than what I thought it did. And I thought all the animal characters, the squirrel, the pig, uh, Kevin Hart's character there, all of them really meshed well together and created a cool little team that I, I'm sure so many kids uh, thoroughly enjoyed. And I, and I just appreciated that. Anytime a movie makes me emotional, which it doesn't take a lot for me, uh, but any time a movie makes me emotional, I always really appreciate it. I feel like that means that they know what they're doing, at least somewhat, and inside of this movie, it was just really cool to see, especially with it being DC and all those emotions just going around, so yeah, that was really, really cool. Now, overall, this was a really fun watch there with my buddies. Um, i have been really wanting to see it because I felt like it was something where no matter how it ended up, I would still really appreciate it because any comic book adaptation inside of animation really lands for me just because of how it looks, man. Because there's so many more options they have that can really make it look more like the characters from the comics. They can give them so many more abilities and stuff like that. So I was very happy 
with that part of it. And this movie is a good little film. I, I can't lie to you. Um, my overall rating, though, from one to five stars would definitely be about a two and a half. Uh, and that's not a bad thing. That's a somewhat, you know, average movie for me. And uh, I had a fun time with it. If y'all went and seen DC uh, League of Super Pets, let me know down in the comments. It's definitely a fun little animated movie. And yeah, y'all keep loving cinema, enjoying cinema, and stay safe for me, all right? See ya.